morning everyone, I hope you're all well. Yes, your eyes do not deceive you. I am back with another studio vlog, I know. It's been a chunk of time since my last one, but all the surprises are out the door, so I can now show you what I'm doing day to day. Before we get too much further, here is Miso, living her best life. They're getting big now. She's a little chunky. But that's okay. She's a, she's very lovely. And kimchi's behind the curtain. Not climbing up the curtain, which is good, but it's just behind it. Um, <clears throat> today is Friday the 29th of October. I have some pre-orders going up today for um, a colorway that I've dyed. And hopefully you won't buy it. I don't know if you do. Um, and yeah. I'm currently still drying the sock sets. Things take a long time to dry in the dye shed, but I have my dehumidifier running and I've got my heated air on, so hopefully stuff will dry. Um, I wanted them out the door today, but um, that's not happened. I don't have the bags yet, so I can't send them out yet, but that's fine. So I've just been dragging my feet a little bit with them, but hopefully package them up on Sunday, ship them out Monday. That is their new goal. I need to put all the findings on the mittens for the stitch markers for them. I need to hole punch a bunch of cards and put them all on there. So there's plenty of stuff for me to do in the meantime. Um, but I think today I want to make some stitch markers, not only for shop update, but also for uh, yarn shows that I'll be doing next year because I need to start them now. Um, I can't tell you what yarn shows I'm in next year because I can't announce that yet. But I need to start making them now because I have to make over 300 of them, so I better get a wriggle on. Um, yeah, but we'll chat more in a bit when I'm actually bead weaving. But yeah, the sun has come out, so I don't know whether to go outside because it was raining really heavily and I don't want to get caught in the rain. But I also need to nip into town real quick, unsure. Um, yeah, that's, that's it. I'm really out of practice with studio vlogs, so it might take me a little bit to get back into it. But how cute are my dungarees? Super cute. Super cute, got little, little mushrooms on. I'm a 31 year old woman. Also I painted my nails yesterday and I've already chipped one because after I painted it, Mario was like, oh, let's practice setting up the gazebo. I'll chat in a second. Um, I was like, okay, cool. I've just painted my nails, so now one is chipped. So, cause they didn't have long enough to cure. Thanks, thanks Mario. I was hoping they would last until at least Halloween and then I'd repaint them on Monday morning, but. Said we'd have a chat. This is us having a chat. The cats are both asleep on the sofa. It's very cute. What you can see is me bead weaving some ladybirds. I started doing them because I was like, cool, these will be nice and quick and I can just get them done. And um, it's me starting to make prep for shows next year and blah blah blah. Make prep, make, starting to prep. Um, Starting show prep. I don't know what I'm saying. But the, then I had the concentration span of a goldfish yesterday and did like a couple of beads and then I would stop and then a couple more and then I would stop. And it's like, this is not helping me in the slightest. I may as well be doing anything else. Uh, so I just ordered some more yarn. Um, always need more yarn. I need to build my Calax unit slash get Mario to help me build my Calax unit. Um, because I had a shelf that was broken, or damaged, I should say. So that arrived yesterday, the replacement shelf. So I need to build that in the dye shed so I can get all my bare yarn on there and do a bit of a stock take because my life is a bit chaotic and I never do a stock take so I actually don't know how much yarn I have in stock. But I know that if I'm doing pre-order today, 
and also on Monday I need to have some yarn in stock um, because the yarn club is going up on Monday. I didn't know whether to try a new base for my merino sock but I might um, hold that off until maybe the new year and try something a bit different. Um, the last few batches of that that I got weren't ideal and the last time I dyed up the yarn club I had three skeins that had been cut so I dyed them all up but didn't notice until I was twisting them so they're just upstairs waiting for me to decide what to do. I could sell them as, um, I could sell them for much cheaper because they're damaged um, and then people will be aware of that when they're buying them but I didn't know what to do yet but I need to do a bit of a de-stash anyway at some point so uh, maybe they'll go in there but um ooh, a spider's outside building a tiny web how lovely have fun um yeah Mario's business is happening he's got his first sh uh, fair show market that's the word market booked um for you it's this weekend for me it's next weekend uh which is very exciting He's looking forward to it. My parents will be coming up on Tuesday because we're going to see the band Steps on Wednesday um, and they're staying until Sunday. And then I've got a podcast going up on Friday that I need to film on Monday. It's all fun. It's all fun and games. Fun and games. Um, but yeah, I'm making some festive stitch markers for the shop update. You may have seen the short that I posted on YouTube. I posted my first short. Because YouTube are trying to be like TikTok now, aren't they? Why not? It's a popular thing. So I thought I'd post a little video of me speed beading. A little festive panda. It's very cute. Um, the angle I was at to record that was quite hilarious. I was actually wearing these dungarees. And I tucked my phone into this, this pocket here and like stood it up. Anyway, it did not do anything for my back. And it was quite painful. But worth it cool it's not real it's a sh it's a short they've all got different names um but yeah life has been fine life has been busy october has been an incredibly long month uh, i started off the month by packaging up and shipping out the 12 days of stitchmas um calendar which was fantastic and i'm glad i got that done i very much enjoyed doing it and then i had to do the yarn stitch marker club fine fantastic and then Advent calendars was just like two weeks of hell. Um, so in peak advent calendar dying time, I got my dye shed done. Um, and the main walkthrough was where I was actually dyeing yarn before. So I could not dye any yarn whilst he was working on the dye shed. And it took much longer than I'd anticipated. So, um, yeah. I lost, I lost about over a month of dyeing time. So by the time it was done, I could use the dye shed, blah, blah, blah. I had to get a good chunk of colours dyed and done, which meant then I got behind on the twisting. So I spent a good week twisting all the things and I thought it would never end. And then um, last week, actually, week before last for you, last week for me, um, I actually packaged them all and had like three 13 hour days, two of them in a row. I would have had them done one day earlier, but I had a family funeral to go to on the Tuesday, which was fine. Um, so I couldn't do any then. But Monday I did 30 and then on the Wednesday I did 30, on the Thursday I did 30. And then on the Friday, I hit my, P P my packaging PB. Um, purely because everyone had the same thing and it made it so much quicker and so much easier. Uh, my packaging PB, 87 parcels in 2 hours and 40 minutes. I uh, was like, cool, so I need to get up, I need to start packaging at 6 because I need them to go today, because I want them to go today, because I'm fed up of looking at those stripy paper bags. Um, I now don't mind looking at the stripy paper bags. A week has passed, I'm I'm over it. But yeah, I was like, of course they need to go today. And then I actually started packaging them and was like, oh, these actually haven't taken me as long as I thought. So called Royal Mail and they came and collected them, which was great. Um, I told them they were in 14 mail sacks, one for 14. Um, and I said on the phone, oh yeah, because when you book it in, they're like, how many mail sacks is in blah, blah, blah. So I was like, they're in 14 mail sacks. They're like, oh, okay. 
And then when the post lady came and collected them, she's like, oh, there's more than usual. Like, yeah, I did say on the phone there were 14 mail sacks. Like, yeah, they've only sent me a small van. Like, oh, God, they all fit. It was all good. But yeah, it was a bit... I hope that you didn't have to go and collect anyone else's parcels after that because um, they filled the van. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, it was such a relief to get them done and out the house. And yeah. Now, I can relax somewhat before, but I... Well, last I did on Saturday. I went out and met up with Grace. Grace the Babbler. Babbles Travelling... Tra babbles, babbles Travels? Babbles Travelling Yarns? I can't remember what her podcast is. Grace, you know Grace, she's lovely, she's delightful. So I met up with her um, and we had a fab day together around Nottingham, which was nice because I hadn't been into the city centre in ages. Like, I mean, I've been in because I went to the theatre and I've been to a gig, but like I've not wandered around the city centre for ages. So went to Nottingham, went to the beach shop, went to um, craft studios up Derby Lane, looked at some beautiful fabric and... Um, had some tasty food and then we were like cool and then luckily we both got to the point where we know each other well enough where we're like cool so my social battery is drained um so I need to leave <laughs> so then we departed ways but it was actually really lovely because usually when I see her it's at Edinburgh Yard Festival or it was at um, Woolen at Dublin I had got to chat to her a little bit when I went for the first Woolen um, or it's like, it's usually at a yarn show, and so we don't usually chat that much, especially one-on-one, -on -one, because you're in a room full of people, or you're in a crowd, or whatever, you're, you're never one-on-one -on -one with people at a yarn show, because you've usually got other people around, so it was really nice just to chat and get to know her and such, um, but yeah, it was really nice to see her and get to know her a bit more, and now she's hit 10k on Instagram, which is very exciting, because now she can add links to her stories. It's such a, a silly thing to get excited by but it can be a game changer uh so yeah prepping for the shop update and also for yarn shows my next shop update is on the 13th of november um at 4 p.m gmt it will be gmt because the clocks go for fall back go back on saturday night sunday morning um so I need to remember to change the only manual clock that we have on my, oh, my watches, all my watches. But yeah. Um, yeah, that's basically what we've been up to. Yeah, Mario has been getting his bakery ready. He can now do some test bakes and all of that. So that's very exciting. He's got a van. It's very nice. He's got his, he's got his business name on the van. The van already needs a clean. Um, but yeah, it's all, it's all happening. It's just... Not a whole lot of knitting has been done, so yeah. Podcast will be coming out on Friday though, because I will be recording it Monday. Okay. That's it. I feel like I had way more to tell you than I did. Yeah, so I walked into town while the sun was out and that was delightful. I'm very much I'm very glad that I went. Uh it's nice to see the trees changing colour and stuff. I felt a bit self conscious going out in these dungarees. Um, I won't lie. Because when growing up, I I was around people that would comment on other people's um, clothing and stuff. And so that now as an adult, that still niggles in the back of my mind. But since being around Mario, who just doesn't comment on what other people are doing or wearing or whatever, because life goes on around him. And also, it's none of our business. But it's actually quite freeing and has made me a bit more confident in myself. Um but I still have those little moments every now and then. But I walked into town and was like, oh, the the market's set up. That's weird, it's Monday. It's not Monday, it's Friday today. Oh, I just don't know what day of the week it is anymore. My oh, brain is frazzled. But anyway, I'm going to go and keep bead weaving these little fellas and then I will be hole punching some cards and threading yarn through them and putting findings on stitch markers and you know, the fun part of business owning. It's not the fun part, but it's the necessary part. It's the part I need to do to make packaging easier on Sunday because it will be a rush. It will be rush packaging.
So I've had to switch out glasses because my usual glasses that I have been wearing in the vlog don't fit quite right behind my ear and god they're so painful so I've got my old pair back on which technically is not the right eyesight but we're rolling with it. Cool, I need to take them off, save them, use them as scrap paper. So I brought up all my tools and stuff to put findings on the stitch markers. I've already done it so I'm way too organised. So now I just need to find out the cards that I want to hole punch and hole punch them. Um, I had a look through my stash of ready-made stitch markers that I have and I've made a list of all the ones that I've already got. Um, so I don't need to make as many for the show as I originally did but still need to make quite a few. Um, that, is that in it upside down? No, it's not. They're in the right way up. And then I've picked some out that I don't want to sell at a show ready for the shop update. Um, yeah, I'm giving the air of organisation, but I'm not that organised. But you all know that I'm a mess, um, so I need to try and find... I'm just throwing stuff on the floor. Right, I'm going to look through some of these boxes and find out these cards that I want to use. So when I'm vending, I like to use these cards. I tend to do a larger hole here and then two smaller ones here and then I clip the thing on and they fit onto my, um, I've got like a standing board. But I also thought that this, it looks a bit nicer than what I usually ship stuff out on. Um, they're better for single stitch markers, um, whereas how I usually ship them is better for multiple. Um, but it would look a bit, it's going to look a bit like this. So I just need to hole punch 50 of these cards now. Um, so that is what I'm now going to be doing. I will also really need to sneeze, so I'll probably be doing that first. <laughs> So I finally got them all packaged. I get my business cards from Vistaprint for anyone wondering and I keep the empty boxes because they're useful. Um, I had one piece of bubble, I was one piece of bubble wrap short, which is kind of annoying, but Mario made me a cup of tea so everything's all good. Um, kimchi keeps trying to get up here because the door doesn't properly close so if she scratches at it enough it will open and then she comes up and then I have to chase her down she, so she hasn't actually done proper exploring up here because she's not allowed up here um but yeah she snuck up when the tea was brought up so Maria carried her up and was like see this is what you're missing I snuggled her for a bit it was very cute but she's not allowed up here because there's too much yarn up here and too much stuff that I sell to other people that I don't necessarily want contaminating with more cat hair than necessary um, so I tend to have her stay away, which is very cute. I'm starting to feel like a bit run down. I think I'm getting a cold. I will do a, um, I will do a Roni test and see if it's anything. I don't think it is though. 
but I think it is just a cold because I'm going out and about in more places and people aren't wearing masks. I'm wearing a mask, other people aren't wearing masks. Um, so it's probably my immune system's in for a bit of a shock because after almost two years, not really, year and a half of like mask wearing and stuff, my body now has to fend for itself. So I'm feeling a bit like tired and stuff, but that's fine. Cup of tea. Just a Yorkshire Tea Biscuit Brew. Delightful. Um, I'm catching up on Critical Role. Campaign 3 has started. Very exciting. Takes me a little bit to get into new campaigns of Critical Role. Um, not for any reason other than it just takes me a little bit to adjust that these people are now playing new people. It happened with Campaign 1. Um, no, it happened with Campaign 2, sorry. Sorry, I've just found a piece of thread. There's another one somewhere here. Is. Um, it happened with Campaign 2 to the point where I didn't listen to it for ages then went back to it. I started listening to it, I'm just like, okay, I'm into it now. But I think with Campaign 2, because they started level 1, it just was a very slow start, and I didn't enjoy it that much, but it seems that they're starting at a higher level with this one, which is good. Um, and yeah, enjoying it so far. But yeah, everyone's still finding their feet with their character and stuff, so I will I will uh, keep watching it and see how it goes. Because when there's a lot of description at the beginning, when they were like setting the scene, and a lot of like, um, and stuff like that, I do struggle to concentrate on it and I did find myself drifting off so I couldn't, I didn't watch much of it when I started watching it on Tuesday. Um, but yeah, I'm trying, I'm going back and trying again and seeing if that helps at all. Hey folks, so I realised I never signed off the video, um, but pre-orders went really well, so thank you everyone who's bought so far. They're still up on the website if you want to treat yourself, um, entirely up to you. Like if you'd like to follow me on social media, I use Instagram the most. Um, I've started posting again on TikTok, I don't even think I've got my TikTok linked in my description box. Anyway, info is down there. I am going to be packaging up the bundles today. Um, Hopefully, if one of the elements arrives soon. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be packaging them up today and shipping them out to you tomorrow, Monday. So, yes, today's Sunday. Yeah. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Also, do you like my new glasses? This is my second pair of new glasses. These ones don't rub me behind the ear as much as my other pair, which is annoying. But I am, as in, it's not annoying that these don't rub, it's annoying that they do. So I need to go back to Specsavers, even though I've already been once and got them adjusted. And I feel like I'm being an inconvenience, but they hurt more. Um, so I actually need to go. But yeah, I'm another miserable rainy day here in Nottingham today. And yeah, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you've been up to. I've missed chatting with you all and communicating with you all. Speaking of, I have set up a Discord. So if you want to join the Corner of Craft Discord where we can chat about various things, knitting, pets, tea, other links in the description box below. It would be lovely if you were to join. Right, I'm going to go finish making my cup of tea and packaging all these things and then I'll hopefully be done so I can edit this this evening. Fingers crossed. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in Friday's podcast. Bye.